So currently at two, four, and one, the Philadelphia Eagles have the best record in the NFC East. And honestly, I hate it, but we're going to be the best team in this division, depending on how these next three games go. Because we play the Cowboys, then we play the Giants, then we play the Browns. The Cowboys look like us at the beginning of the season. It is terrible. Plus, Lord knows who their quarterback is going to be. It's not looking good. The Giants... They do have an offense, but it's also Daniel Jones. So, that's the only reason the Eagles win. And the Browns, it depends which version of our defense shows up. If our defense decides to tackle and our D-line wants to be dominant, we have a chance. If not, ooh... Because after that, the schedule get hard. It's the Seahawks, the Packers, the Saints, the Cardinals. Can you go one and three? Then you close out the season with the Cowboys and Redskins. So, if the Eagles can win these three games and win the last two, that's a seven-win team. Then hope you go one and three with the Saints, the Cardinals, the Seahawks, and who else was that? And the Packers. I feel, I don't know. We play good against the Packers unless Aaron Rodgers decides to run the ball. If he wants to run the ball himself, then we don't play good. If he not, if he not going to scramble, then... We have a chance against the Packers. I hate, I hate <sighs> Packers. <sighs> anyway, I don't like this team. I'm, I'm wondering when uh, Jalen Rugger coming back, if he's gonna do anything. Cause you know, I wanted Justin Jefferson, but he in Minnesota with Kirk. Or Kurt, <laughs> whichever one it is, bro. Who's our second round pick? Jalen Hurts. I hope we use him more. He has a dimension. If we use him correctly, it could it could be explosive. But Doug needs to stop playing him for just one play. Like if you're gonna use Jalen Hurts, put him in there for three, four plays. Let him pick up two first downs. Then you bring Carson back in with some new stuff. If you're just going to use him for one play, it's stupid, bro. You, you're you going to know that, all right, all right, this is going to happen. You need to use Jalen Hurts in traditional sets, too. And just have him throw a stick. Have have a slant and some a stick and an out, bro. Like, <laughs> something basic. Let him just throw it real quick. Let him check it down a couple times just to make it be like, all right, all right. This adds another element. We got to let Jalen Hurts throw the ball a little bit and or just hand it off to the running back. Like, not even a read option, like just an inside zone. If you start using Jalen Hurts like that, he becomes even more dangerous because now you don't know what's going to happen. Are we going to run like a real play? Are we going to like try to take a shot downfield with Jalen Hurts at quarterback? Oh, is he going to run the ball? Are we going to do some trickery? Like you can even do that with Carson on the field. Like put Carson out wide and then you just hand the ball out to the running back. It's like, oh, what's going to happen? And on the outside, you have Carson run a little screen just to put it in their mind that, oh, maybe it's a throwback to Carson. You just got to start adding like small little wrinkles into the game. And I honestly, we we have a chance depending on what the coaching does. Because right now, I say the Eagles are so poorly coached. 
Doug Peterson, I see you bringing stuff to the table every week, some new stuff, but it's like you get stuck in your ways, bro. You get stuck in your ways. You got to continue to elevate. Anyway, there's like the Eagles could do some stuff to make it look to make it look a little sexy. But there's no reason for us to really suck. Like, yeah, it would be nice to get a big name college receiver and have him on our team for four years and maybe get a get the next Julio or something. But at the same time, we could have had Justin Jefferson, bruh.